Well, this is about seven days in, guys, and this is my 20-gallon nano reef setup that I am uh, going to be working on. It is a Marineland brand tank uh, with two Ping 150 uh, hang on the back filters, a 500 gallon per hour circulator pump up there, circulator, whatever you want to call it, and then there's also a 150 gallon per hour power head down there in the left corner as well. There is 30 pounds of live sand in there and about 25 pounds of live rock. And I just kind of got done rearranging it and everything, but got some got some good uh, colors on it and everything already. And my local fish store really did a pretty good job with the, the live rock, a good price. It came down to about $4.50 a pound uh, when I got 25 pounds of it. So that was about the cheapest that I could find it, at least where I'm at here. And... Uh, the lighting system also is a Coralife uh, lighting system. It's got four 24 watt bulbs in it. It's got two Artenic bulbs, um, two of the 10,000 degrees, and then also has the LED ones here. I'll turn them off here for you so you can see. So this is with the Artenic and the 10,000s on, and then I can get it to shut off here. There's just the Artenics on. Turn those guys off here as well. And show you the LEDs. Got the switch under here. Yeah. There we go. And then there's the LED lights that shine down on it. So in those you can move around and have them face any direction you want to. So Really, uh, I was pretty impressed with the lighting system. This should allow me to really have just about any coral I want to and probably grow more algae than I than I really want. But nonetheless, it should help definitely help out the environment and everything I'm trying to make. And um, yeah, we'll just kind of see how it goes and everything. I'll let you know any mistakes that come up that I do or any problems that I have. Um, but honestly, I'm thinking it's going to go pretty good. I did a 55-gallon saltwater probably eight years ago with my dad, so I'm familiar with it and everything. It's sitting right about now, specific gravity at 1.024, so pretty solid and everything. I plan on getting, uh, you know, doing a reef tank, mainly going to be corals and whatnot, but also plan on getting a few fish. If you guys have any recommendations on what I should get, uh, I'd, you know, I'd definitely take those into consideration. Uh, Damn it, just don't say Dory or Nemo or any of those fish. I really don't want any of them. That's what everybody's got. I want some fish that are different. Um, I got three local fish stores in town that are all capable of ordering in anything that I want, they said. So just uh, let me know something that you think might look good in here. Like I said, it's a 20-gallon tank. you know. And So I can't really overload it with too much stuff. Probably only three or four small fish at the most. And I also want to put like a shrimp in there and maybe some crabs to an emerald crab or something like that. But if it's uh, reef compatible and you think it's cool and let's say it's not over 30 bucks, I'll be interested in it, I suppose. So let me know in the comments and everything and look at that riddling snake pit of wires down there. That's very attractive. Anyways, um, I'm going to have to paint the back of the tank black or something with a latex paint to kind of hide everything that's going on back there. It kind of bothers me, but... Right now, it's doing pretty good. It already had the ammonia spike and everything uh, due to the cycling with live rock. And I use uh, Biozyme for salt water, too. It's this stuff right here. So it's worked very good for me and everything. I picked that up at Petco. Everything else was bought at my local fish store. Uh, total cost right now is sitting right about, oh, tank was... 30 filters were both about $20 a piece, 35 bucks for the circulator. 25 bucks for the power head, 200 bucks for the lighting, 75 for the stand. I don't know. I'm probably sitting like $600 so far. Uh, and then it's got about oh, 20 or $100 with the live rock in there and about 40 bucks of live sand. So maybe it's a little bit more than that. I probably spent more than I should. But anyways, this is just a quick little update on how it's uh, going. And so far, everything's been working great. I had absolutely no problems so far. And uh, yeah, I guess until next time... Uh, I'll be looking at the comments to see if you guys recommend any corals or fish or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I'll kind of take you week by week and show you what happens. And uh, hopefully I don't end up killing everything. So until next time, guys.